All right, hello there, everybody. I'm really excited to start this series. I'm going to be doing a 10 year franchise mode, aka GM mode, because we're going to disable a lot of the actual franchise aspects of it with the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, my favorite hockey club. Uh, they've been shit in the bed over the past uh, decade, really. So let's see if we can rebuild the team and uh, maybe win a Stanley Cup within the next 10 seasons. So that'll be fun. But uh, haven't booted up NHL 23. This is my first time. Uh, put in a lot of hours into NHL 22, 21, 20. Really hold the NHL games, but uh, haven't really been that active for whatever reason this year. But let's go into franchise mode, get everything set up, and uh, we'll kind of see, take a look at the team, see what we can do moving forward. But let's see what they have. They added a new custom league and even a 33-team expansion draft, which is kind of cool, I guess, but we just want things to go authentic for now. Um... Kind of interesting with the 33-team league. Uh, I think 32 is perfect for now. But let's go into... If anything, they should move around a few teams. I think it's retarded that they have a team in Arizona. But they really want to keep it there. Don't get me wrong, I love the Coyotes. I really like their branding and everything. But uh, GM Nabe, we're going to be Daniel... My first name is Daniel, but uh, I'm not going to be role-playing as me. We are going to be role-playing as Daniel Briere. <laughs> That's right. Most likely is going to be the official GM this off-season, but that's right. Uh, management decides to fire Chuck Fletcher in... Are you serious? Exceeds 12 characters. Uh, that sucks. Um, let's try Dan Briere. That's, yeah, that, so Dan Briere. Um, is going to be the GM of the Philadelphia Flyers, appointed in August of 2022. Honestly, they should have fired Fletcher in June. He's made some really boneheaded contracts. So we'll have to look at the team and see what we can do moving forward. But, I mean, this is, on paper, it's just an absolutely garbage team. I, I don't know what else to say. But we'll see what we can do. The division realignment, everything should be in order in this year's game because they got Seattle in there. Arizona moved to the central. So everything looks good there. The career tab... So, CPU trades on, owner mode, enables features such as budgets. Yeah, we're not the owner, we're the general manager. Um, so, we don't have to deal with any of that. Player morale, turn that off. Fog of war, we'll turn that off. I don't know how realistic that would be. I mean, I guess technically you don't know exactly what's up with the player in real life, but you kind of do. I don't know, I just turn that off. I don't think that's really necessary. I like to see what I'm getting. Um, head coach edit lines. No, we'll ma manage our team. Got the salary cap on. Um, that looks good to me. Um, auto staff management. I really don't enjoy managing the staff. Um, but I never really done it before. I always had it on auto. I just don't really, I don't really like the whole coaching thing. I guess maybe it can make a difference, so it's probably a good idea to look into it, but uh, I guess we'll keep it on, that we'll have to manage it ourselves. Um, Philadelphia Flyers, there you go. Uh, only thing we're going to change, we're going to change the, let's see here, the period time is going to be five minutes, okay. Uh, authentic cap penalties, real life buyout penalties. I'm going to keep that off. Turn that off, okay? Um, that franchise mode is going to be 10 seasons. 
Draft pick ownership. This is going to be tricky. Um, I'm just going to go to classic. We'll keep it the classic. Every team keeps their pick and everything. We'll keep that there. I don't know what draft picks. Chuck Fletcher. We'll keep it on medium for the trade difficulty. Waivers are on. Relocation. Fog of War. Auto scouting. Both the CPU will sign scouts. Um... We'll just keep that on auto. Yeah, we'll just keep that on auto. Okay. So there you have it. We will keep injuries on. And um, yeah, so let's go jump right in. As the Philadelphia Flyers, Daniel Briere out with Chuck Fletcher, in with Daniel Briere. And we have to really decide what we're going to do year one is really pivotal to the future of the franchise. We need to decide right away if we are going to try to make the 2023 postseason. Again, we're starting in August. So everything is past free agency, the draft, everything. That's not really the ideal time for Daniel Breer to come in. Uh, the question is, is he going to go all, all in? and do a fire sale on the club or is he going to try to maybe retool the team a little bit maybe just kind of go into it and see what he can do with the team that we have so we're in September of 2022 preseason's right around the corner things are going to get ready to go here so uh let's see here new to franchise mode you can now interview, hire, and fire your entire coaching staff. Coaches have multiple effects across the mode, and combined with our scouting system, you now have full control to build the best organization in the NHL. So coaching is definitely big. So I guess it would be in our best interest to um, look into that and do more research and kind of find a good coach. But the only bullshit thing about it is you don't have the real-life coaches. So it kind of adds, it's not as in-depth, as immersive, I guess, since you just have random coaches. So that's a bummer. But I guess you can make players coaches, which is cool, once they retire. So there's that. Goes into the ratings. I just don't really like it. I don't really like the chemistry thing either. I feel it's random. I don't know what really goes Behind it, I guess you need to match it to the coach's scheme and all that. Fill out the chemistry bar. And obviously you want good chemistry, but we don't have to worry about that because we turn off Fog of War. All right, so oh, let's see what we have here. Um... So we'll go ahead and view the team. I am playing on PlayStation 4, so I think it's good. might be a little bit laggy here and there in the menu system, unfortunately, but what can you do? Um, hopefully they'll still keep making this NHL game for PlayStation 4. I wish they would make it for PC. But anyway, we'll go ahead and view our contracts, kind of get an overview of what we have to work with here. You can do contract extensions, yep. I know about all that. We'll go by position. So our center core, we have Sean Couturier. Pretty much missed the whole season, I believe. Um, his future is in question. He is 29 years of age. The question is, are the Flyers going to trade him this offseason? I don't know. We have 1.6 million of cap space, so not a lot to work with. But um, yeah, Sean Couturier. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if the Flyers name a captain this season, to tell you the truth. So we'll just keep all alternate captains and everything like that. So Sean Couturier, Kevin Hayes, that's an awful contract. I do not like that cap hit. We're probably going to need to look at trying to move him, try to work out a blockbuster deal. Um, Scott Lawton, I do like Lawton. He's a good third line center for us. Good little nitty-gritty player, and he has a decent cap hit. 
Morgan Frost, youngster, 23 years of age, top six forward potential, so hopefully he can grow this year. Brown, uh, he can honestly go back into the AHL. Um, let's go. I'm um, trying to... Okay, yeah. Uh, I would like to switch to our damn AHL, but this isn't roster moves, so we can't do that. Uh, left winger is Joel Faraby, 22 years of age, $4.8 million cap hit. That's pretty good. Uh, top six potential, so I'd like to see him grow. Maybe he can get 86 overall, so we can probably hang on to Faraby. Baron Moonstite, can't wait for him to get off the team. His contract is expiring. I would say his second stint in Philadelphia was a flop. Um, let's look at JVR. His... Let's see. So he joined Philadelphia in 2018. He joined Philadelphia and first season posted 48 points, then 40 points, and 43 points. He did have a fairly good first year, right? Almost tallying 30 goals, but he's just been injured, doesn't really been playing much. Just although there were only 56 games in 2020, 2021, 2021, 2022, he had a pretty terrible year, minus 33, but 24 goals. So he's capable of scoring. The scoring, I guess, is still there. We'll see how he does this season. Right winger is Cam Atkinson. Again, injured player. Uh, pretty. T I guess you can't say that was a terrible deal. Atkinson for Voracek because Voracek's career is pretty much done. Uh, I believe his contract was traded away from Columbus because he probably won't ever play again. Might retire this season. So that's a shame to see because I did like Jacob Voracek. Um spend his career here but Atkinson his uh second season here in Philadelphia uh so 73 games played 23 goals 27 assists 50 points minus two first season in Philadelphia not too bad there not too bad of a year again just terrible that he missed this whole season Travis Konechny I do like Konechny he's a fast player um, he has two X factors last season. He posted 52 points. So looks like his most productive season had 61 points. So we'll see how he does this year. Owen Tippett, top six potential, 23 years of age, only a $1.4 million cap hit. You can't beat that. Owen Tippett. We'll see how he grows. Zach McEwen. There on the fourth line player for us. Bloody fucking leaf floors. I hope you don't hear that on this recording. I don't think you will because our mic settings are pretty decent. But uh, man, nonstop. That's one of the most annoying sounds in the world, a, a damn leaf blower. All right, our defensemen. Uh, we have Ryan Ellis. D'Angelo. Wow, he's ranked 85 overall. That's surprising. Uh, again, Ryan Ellis didn't play. You have to wonder how the Flyers would have done this year if they actually, if our fucking players would be healthy. I mean, injury after injury, half the team didn't even play, it seems like. So, again, in this universe, everyone's healthy. Uh, we do have injuries turned on, so we'll see who gets hurt. But I don't suspect we'll have players who miss the whole year. But again, you never know. So, again, on paper, the team is halfway decent. Uh, we have Cam York, 21 years of age. He's already 81 overall. Justin Braun, who retired in real life now. Um, Rasmus Ristolainen. Okay, so thank goodness uh, Travis Sanheim was not signed to an extension. He is 85 overall, but I know in real life they signed him to an extension up all the way to 2031, which is pretty crazy. I don't know why they signed him for eight years at six million dollars. Uh, I don't think he's worth that. So we'll see. He is an unrestricted free agent. We do have Provorov for three more years. You have to wonder the future of him with the club. But yeah, I don't like Ryan Ellis. I don't like this deal at all. Fucking retarded trade. Blew up in our faces. So we have to really wonder what we're going to do with Ryan Ellis. So technically last year was his first year he fucking played in four games. <laughs> four games last year. Unbelievable. What a terrible trade. So 
Then we have our goalies. We have Carter Hart, 24 years of age now. Um, might have turned 25 at this point. And Felix Sandstrom as our backup. So not too thrilled with the goalies uh, there. Uh, but we'll just kind of ride the wave. We'll see what happens. But all these players... Again, it's a mediocre team, but we only have 1.6 million to work with. All right. So that's what we have. Let's look at our line. Edit up our edit our lineup here. Uh would you like no. I fuck off. Uh I'll manage my team. So, first line we have Faraby Couturier, Konechny, I like that. Second line, Ben Riemsdyk, Hayes, Atkinson. Third line, Noah Cates, Lawton, Tippett. Then the Slorier, Frost, and McEwen. What's up with this guy, Noah Cates? So he's a 23-year-old. He's 23 years old. Consider a fourth line forward. Um, bottom six potential. Um... I briefly saw him in real life. I didn't watch that many Flyers games, honestly, this year. But I'm pretty excited with the current playoffs. We'll see if Toronto uh, can finish Tampa tonight. So happy, Tampa. I'm definitely rooting for Tampa tonight. Uh, now they have Team Strategies tab. Again, I'm not too familiar with the coaching and strategies. You have to wonder really how much of a difference it actually makes. Our coach is ugly as fuck. Looks like a damn ghoul. But his name is Laurent Columby. Is our coach. He is A overall. So, I guess we'll pretend he's the new coach for whatever. I wish they could have your boy... Um... John Tortorella. I am going to change one thing in the settings. I'm going to turn auto rotate goalies off. I like to be in control of my goalies. So we'll turn that off. Um, here, there you go. Auto rotate goalies off. All right. So, what are we going to do? We're going to go with the team. We're going to ride it out. Season's already here. Um, but let's go ahead and send you the regular season. And let's go to our trade block. So for now, we're going to keep everything off. We're going to just empty everything. We'll kind of simulate. We're going to simulate to... December 1st in this video. We're going to get to December 1st. And then kind of get a feel for where we're at. Again, it's not necessarily over in December. You still have another two months. But I just kind of want to see what we can do. And uh, we'll come trade deadline. We may make some moves depending on where we are at in the standings. But really hope... Maybe we're a playoff bubble team. If we're healthy, it can go either way. So I don't want to make any moves just yet. Um, and yeah, I know I didn't look at the defensive pairing, so we'll need to do that. But let's just get past the preseason. I guess it's neat that they had the preseason, but it's just boring to me. Even in real life, I hate preseason. It's just a waste of time. In a video game. I guess it can be helpful if you play every game. But anyway, how do we do in the preseason anyway? Alright, so go to September. So we've got a shutout against the Canes, beat the Islanders, beat the Rangers. Then we went on a four game losing streak, so... Looks like we went three, 
three and one. Who cares? All right, so our first game of the season is going toe-to-toe -to -toe against the New Jersey Devils, a team that got 50 wins this season in real life. That's pretty remarkable. Um, got home ice advantage here. The game does feel slow. Uh, just need to be patient with it. Pulling up the menus and everything. It is a 10-year-old system at this point, sadly, the PS4. All right, so uh, yeah, we wanted to look at our defense. So we have Travis Sanheim, Ryan Ellis, Ivan Provorov, D'Angelo, Cam York, and Rasmus Ristolainen. So not too shabby. Uh, I am going to put Provorov there on the first line with Ellis. And... Um, that should work. Our power play. Uh, this is an interesting menu for the power play. So we have Couturier. What the fuck is this? I'm confused. Okay, so that, I guess that's just the way that's set up the strategy. So they kind of have the defense there. Um... Uh, Pitching in. Yeah, let's put Hayes in there. Get Kevin Hayes there. On the power play with line one. Power play line two. We have... Um, uh, he's not really a power play kind of guy, but... Uh, let's get Morgan Frost. He's a youngster. Maybe he can get some experience here on the second power play unit. We have Morgan Frost, Cam Atkinson, Owen Tippett. And we can put someone else here on the wing. Uh, let's see, who do we have? Jesus, this team. This team. <laughs> uh, let me see. Is, um... Ben Reemstick on the first unit? He is. He is. Okay. He's at the point for whatever reason. Uh, we'll replace him and put Ryan Ellis on the point. Okay. And then on the second line unit, we'll have Provorov on the point. And we'll have Van Reemstick on the wing here. All right. And, of course, between the pipes, we have Carter Hart and Felix Sandstrom. All righty. So, New Jersey against Philadelphia. Home opener. Go ahead and simulate to November 1st here. See how we can do for the month of October. So we defeat the Devils 2-1. Keep in mind, in real life, we did get off to a 3-0 start. And look where we ended up. So I don't know. First month is definitely deceiving. We beat the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Florida Panthers. How about that? How about that for your Philadelphia Flyers? All right. Tony D'Angelo has been injured. So I'll just replace him. Because he's going to be right back. On the 29th, we lose 9-1 to the Nashville Predators. Jesus. All right, let's go ahead and plug him back in. That's the only thing with injuries. It's kind of annoying to constantly micromanage, but injuries are part of hockey. So we put in Justin Braun there. What the fuck? I just want to... Want to scratch. So that's what I'm used to doing. You usually hit triangle in the previous games. Put D'Angelo back in. What the fuck? Or that player be in the shootout. I 
of Kevin Hayes in the shootout. Kevin Hayes, Couturier, Atkinson. Why is Ellis here? He's a defenseman. Um, we'll put in... James Van Riemsdyk. There you go. In on the shootout. All right. Got a home game against the Panthers. Nice 3-1 win. This damn Zamula guy keeps getting hurt. I do wish we could just have the coach edit the AHL because I do not give a fuck about the AHL. All right, so first month, not too shabby. We are fourth overall in the Metropolitan Division with 11 points with a 5-2-1. Not too shabby. New York Rangers. Unfortunately, they don't. I don't believe they have Tarasenko and Kane and all that. So it would be interesting as the season progresses. All right, so November 2022. Um, we'll go ahead and plug in... Go ahead and plug in Felix Sandstrom for, let's just get him three starts. Or we might just give him two starts for now. We want Carter Hart to get the workload this season. He can handle it, although I believe he was hurt as well in real life. Just can't stay healthy. All right, let's simulate it this way. We're not going to go back in the calendar. Advanced day, can we beat the New York Rangers? 4-1 loss against the New York Rangers. All right, can we beat the Maple Leafs? Luis Belpedio. Nice, 2-1 win against the Maple Leafs. Good job, Sandstrom. Still going to go ahead and put in Carter Hart. He is our starter. Just kind of give him a break there from the back-to-back -back matchups. Alright, so next game is against the Ottawa Senators, who are 3-4-2. and two. Maybe we'll be a wild card team this season. It's hard to say, but I hate how they've just been in that bubble. Just on and off. Make it to the playoffs, don't make it to the playoffs. Either you shit the bed, or you're really good. I, I'm tired of being in the middle of the pack. So even though we might be that bubble team, it might... It may just be good to just, boom, drop a bomb and blow up the team. But Daniel Breer is still kind of being patient and uh, making his decisions here. So let's simulate to the 26th of November, right after Thanksgiving there. We'll give uh, Sandstrom another two starts. This goddamn Zamula guy. Lose to the Ottawa Senators. 6-3 win over the Blues. 3-2 shootout win over the Columbus Blue Jackets. Very nice. Got a rematch against the Senators. Owen Tippett. Has been injured with a strained hamstring. He's returning November 24, 2022. So Owen Tippett is hurt. Let's see who can we put in here to substitute. Scratched. We just have to put in this brown guy. Patrick Brown, 30 years of age. Surprised the Flyers don't have more depth, honestly. And Van Riemsdyk has gone down with the injured groin. He's coming back November 22nd. Now we need to call someone up. I don't like how they have this edit lines. Shit. How can I go? I have to hit L3 now. And then we have to go to roster moves. Before you could just hit triangle and go into your roster moves. would like to leave yeah 
So let me call someone up because we don't have anyone. Go to in the system. Uh, Allison, okay, that's right. How's he doing so far? He's fourth line roll already. So he's doing pretty damn good. 12 points in 11 games, not too bad for Wade Allison. But uh, he's already 25 years old, so he's I don't think he's going to grow that much, but I think he'd be a better option than Brown, that's for sure. So let's call in Wade Al call up Wade Allison. And um says he's supposed to be number 11, but that's Konechny's number, so I'm not sure who. Well, I'm not sure what number he wears in real life. I might have to look that up here. So, yeah, Van Riemsdyk is out, so we'll go ahead and put in... Put in Wade Allison. And, uh... Oh my god, just fucking fill him in everything, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah, in the future, guys, um, for future episodes, I'm definitely just gonna cut the video whenever we're making these changes. So just bear with me for this episode. Um... As we kind of get in the swing of things. Uh, who, what else? It's just annoying to have to do all this shit and then he's right back and you have to do the same thing and the menu is slow as shit, so. That's the only thing, but don't worry. I'll, uh, from now on, if we have to do any more line changes or anything like that, we'll definitely cut the video. So, oh my god, stop fucking <laughs> bugging me about the damn AHL. All right, so, why does it say December there? One tippet has returned. All right, so let me just edit everything here. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, so it did skip a few games, two or three games here once we backed out of the edit line screen, but uh, all is well. So made a few adjustments to the lines, but we got Van Riemsdyk back and we have Tippett back, but we kept Allison in the lineup. So... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go back to the Islanders here where we'll put in Felix Sandstrom. Hopefully we can stay healthy, not deal with any more injuries. Nice 5-4 shootout win. Beautiful. 5-1 loss against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And we're 11-8-2. and two. So... Let's go ahead and put in Felix Sandstrom for the next two games against the New York Islanders. And before you know it, we already made it to December. Uh, we are going to jump in on December on the December 1st game against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, I'll try to end all of my episodes with uh, some gameplay to kind of... I like to see the team on the ice and... Um, Kind of get a feel for how they look on the ice. It just adds more to it. Um, actual in-game play. I may not be talking that much, though, during the gameplay. Uh, so anyway, as we get our thought collected, we came in here to switch out Carter Hart with Sandstrom. So Sandstrom, only two starts so far this season. Well, you'll probably get about 15 starts on the year, 15 to 20 starts. And... Uh, Hopefully he'll do decent. Last start he did have a 2-1 victory, so hopefully he'll do well here against the New York Islanders. All right. So we are in the wild card spot. The Islanders are not, surprisingly. They're in seventh place. Can you believe it? And the Hurricanes are below us as well. 
the Devils are at the bottom of the barrel. That's hard to believe. Got the Caps, the Rangers, the Penguins. It's always been a tight division, though. So we'll see what happens. Away on the road on Long Island. Nice. 3-2 win over the Islanders. All right. We've got a rematch of two days later in Philadelphia at the Wells Fargo Center. Can we defeat the New York Islanders? Back-to-back -back outings? We cannot. And at least we get a point. We lose in the shootout. Nice effort there by Sandstrom. All right. So we'll go ahead and plug in Carter Hart. And we'll get ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Tampa Bay Lightning at home in Philadelphia. We'll see what we can do here. I am going to save the game real quick before we jump in. But our first game here of the season. Going in to actually see some gameplay. I'm not very familiar with how the gameplay is change here in NHL 23 over 22. 22 was definitely a lot different than 21 in terms of how the players felt on the ice. I did play a little bit in free skate. So I did get a little bit of a feel for it. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of jump in here. So toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Tampa Bay Lightning. You already know who they have. Victor Hedman, X-Factor. Nikita Kucherov, X-Factor. Andre Vasilevsky, best goalie in the league. X-Factor. And on our side, we have Sean Couturier and Travis Konechny. And I didn't even look to see it, who the captains and everything were. I hope it didn't auto-assign us a captain. That would suck. All right, let's jump in here. In Philadelphia, can we beat the Tampa Bay Lightning? Now this season, in real life, Vasilevsky didn't have the best year. But he's still in the playoffs, so hopefully we'll have a good game tonight. Hi everybody, I'm James Cebulski. Well, they'll try to salvage what has been a tough road trip with a win tonight. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The bolt start. Oh. Forgot to change one thing here. Uh, my favorite camera angle, honestly. Let's go to settings. Visual settings. I believe it would be there you go camera I've really been enjoying the action camera angle been using this camera angle for a year or two now and it's uh I like it hopefully you like it too I feel like it's a pretty good view too for the viewer possession as we are now underway Hedman's got it in the offensive zone right, right on the right strong physicality on the play after that hit, he's slowly working his way Ooh, to the bench. He is not hurt. feeling very good. And he comes up with it. Like that save as he nice. was able to deflect it to the corner. Therabee. Oh, Ooh, stop. nice little pass there to really connect Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. I might, still trying to shake off I'll keep the, the commentators on for this game, really but I'm probably going to turn them off in the future. A huge hit there. By Katuri on Hedman. I guess he's okay. Left to be played in this period. Way to step Still up, Katuri. Let's win one. this face off here. Katuri Ace won the draw and they'll look to set up. Oh, solid save by Vasilevsky. Great reach with the poke check by Katuri. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Oh, nice, Katuri. Nice zone entry on the left side. Therapy. And dump it in. Along the boards by there you go, Konechny. On the attack along the boards. 
Konechny. From one end of the blue line, Rob, the other. Rob, Ellis. And the puck leaves uh, the fuck. zone. All right. The Flyers have it against the wall. Feeds it over to Provorov. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. With the stop. Takes a nice stop by the puck. Moves it quickly Carter over Hart. to Killorn. Come on. Sent into the offensive zone. I'm going to dump that in there. Philadelphia's got the puck behind the net. Rob. Looking dangerous as they move it on the boards. They I like the, the dump and the chase style, but we get better at how we dump the puck in. Philadelphia's got Hayes, the puck damn, he's pretty big. All right, Hayes. You'll need more than that to Coming in him. by himself. Vasilevsky's okay. gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He Finicky to backhander, that. but you get that personalized jersey you've always dreamed of wanting to. You finally saved enough money for it. Check out the team store just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Puck picked up by Sanheim. Great save! Taken along the wall by Frost. Frost. No, he's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone here. I, I don't know what I was the doing there. The right. D'Angelo. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Oh, they probably want Damn to redo on that. Scores! What are you doing? Oh, my God. That was bad. Very sloppy play there. Alex kill one. The Bolts get on the board first, and they now lead one nothing. That's good execution from them, James. After a pretty tight first. That was bad defense. Period, now they can play from in front. Philadelphia's won the draw in the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep, and he stopped that one. And now he moves it to Nemestikov. Dumps it into the O zone. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. The Lightning have taken control of the I don't like puck. this McEwen guy. Angles it over to McEwen. Sends it into the offensive zone. Oh, and that's got the crowd <laughs> that's busting that's after that stop. Gains the zone from the right. Scooped up along the wall by Paul. This Loyer handles the pass from the right wing. Wearing Martin B. Ron's number for whatever reason. The Flyers take possession I need to look at our real-life numbers. I feel like some of them the are. There's know. the whistle icing the call. Big face off. All right, come on, Sandheim. Sandheim's not got anything done recently offensively, and you know it's starting to eat away at him. Vasilevsky's a star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. Victoria is a big name for this club, and they rely on him to generate offense. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Yeah, That's amazing, man. He shows off his focus and his athleticism making two. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to turn off the fucking commentators are annoying. I do like Ray Ferraro. I don't know why they added the woman commentator. Alright, come on, Hayes, come on. Vasilevsky's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Tampa Bay's up one zip. Taken by Flurry. I didn't know they had Flurry. Oh, poked away in the offensive zone by Hayes. Okay, come on, Hayes. Here's a pass down low. The Lightning have gained possession off the wall. Bit too much mustard. Uh, Howard, York, what York, come on. Oh, uh, come on. Ooh. Vasilevsky's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. And again, just let me know how you guys feel about the actual gameplay. I feel like doing the whole game makes sense, right? But if you feel like it's too much, we can always just simulate the first and second period and jump in for the third. There's the pass, there's the shot, but the goaltender is in position to make the save. Tampa Bay's moving it along the wing. Trying to do a four check here. Quick feed to Sandheim. Connect me. And now he moves it quickly to Faraby. Tries to get uh, the puck over to Hagel. Solid hit on the play. Feeds the puck up to Faraby. Handles it along the blue line. Stopped by the goaltender. 
Hart's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top All of right. it to kill the play. Here in the late goings of the period, 1-0 the score. The Bulls win it. Puck scooped up by Chernak. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Makes the save. I think he got a foot on that one. The puck just feels That's loose. Moved up ahead. Shot. Come on, Frost. Oh, stop by Vasilevsky. Uh. Here's a shot. And that's blocked from someone in front. Allison, come on. Stop by Vasilevsky. Just fire towards the net, boys. That's all you can do. Get those chances. Frame. Play smart. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defense. Don't make any more boneheaded turnovers. Dumps it in. Picked up along the wall by McEwen. And that's turned aside by Vasilevsky. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. All right, so we got 16 shots. That's pretty good. We're only down by one, so we'll see what we can do here in the second period. Try to period tie up the game at least, maybe get the go-ahead goal, as we're kind of easing into the game. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. From one point man to another. Vasilevsky's going to elect for the face-off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they lead this game. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. We got a one nothing game to this point. Now a quick pass to Hedman. Slick feed. Tampa Bay's going to play it from the corner. Oh, he Come on. pass. What a stop by Hart. And he came out and challenged him. Good I save. hit the pass button. I don't know why Hart didn't pass it. Oh well. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Konechny. Tries to get it over to Kucherov. Didn't have anywhere to go there. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Farabee's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Couturier. Come on, move the puck up. The Flyers carry it along the wall. Let's it fly. Oh, wow, what a pass saved by Vasilevsky. Beautiful. Ah, uh, come on, why is that pass so fucking hard to Couturier? There's right the in the slot. We've got an offside. Ah, uh, that's, that's offside. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Vasilevsky's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Hayes wins it in the offensive zone. And he comes up with the save. And the puck's not loose. Sends it quickly to Perry. Down the right side and into the zone. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Broken up by Chernak. And he slides it quickly to Perry. Uh, not really getting that many good chances. But I honestly thought we were about to get a penalty earlier because it looked like he tripped Couturier. What are you doing? Get the fucking puck. Unbelievable. 
I don't know why he put his stick up in the air. He's nearing the midway mark of the period. Tampa Bay's ahead, one nothing. The Flyers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Important draw to win, so you're okay. not chasing around Break in your out. zone. From the open ice, they gain the line. Slides it diagonally to Allison. Poked away in the neutral zone by Nemestikov. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Come on. The Bolts get a hold of the puck off the draw. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Manages to hang on. Can't make the connection on the pass. Slides the puck across to Tippett. Okay, let's break it out, guys. There you go. The go, 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 zone. Allison. Come on, you, you at least get a the shot on the goal. Into the offensive zone now on the attack. Okay. And here's the pass We're not to getting shot out. Don't worry, don't worry. We still got some into time. The, far corner. the Flyers gain control of the puck. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. And that's blocked in traffic. I don't like right-handed right players, bro. Into I'm the a lefty in real life. I, mean, I might need to move him on the other wing. The a pass in front. I don't know why you'd have a right-handed guy the on the right wing. Takes the feed. And he gives it over to Hagel. So Ovechkin, he's a left wing and he, he's a righty. But... The Flyers look to start the transition game. Okay, come on, guys. Along the side, We're not doing anything the here. Zone. The Lightning have Just... taken possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puts it in deep. Unable to reach that one. Picked up along the boards by Konechny. Dumps the puck in. The Lightning have taken control of the puck. Gets it over to Belmar. Here's an odd man rush. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. The Lightning have the puck against the boards. Nice, get the it, get it, get the, the fucking puck, Couturier. The Flyers have it from their own end. Nice feed. Sends it over. Makes the save. Ah, uh, cross ice pass. End. Slides the puck across to Hedman. Moves it to Kalorn. Come on, Kirby. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Come the on, guys. They're all they're over in. us, dude. And it's like they, they're like in quicksand. I don't know. They're not skating. Go ahead, go I can't get the big hit. The play is definitely a little bit different than an NHL 22. Come on, come on. Two on one. They, oh, fuck, dude. Right here, right here. Great scoring chance. Moves the puck. And he takes the pass. Here's a shot. That's on the stick. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Hayes. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two on one. Puck grabbed by Hedman. Slides uh, into Paul. I'm getting frustrated here's here. A short pass to Nemestikov. Poked away at center by Hayes. And now he angles it across to Paul. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Pass broken up. Pass to Lawton. That pass doesn't go. And that All right, that was a shitty period. period. We did get a few chances there, but I can't the believe that next. goal didn't go in by Hayes. Tampa Bay Lightning. We do have 22 shots. They only got one shot in that period. So I think we're getting better defensively. We just need to kind of get a feel for some offense. So it's a different game when the defense is pressuring you, right? Free skate, we were getting a feel for the kind of skill Welcome stick, back, the gliding, the shot Ray. accuracy. I'm but we are ready to kick start this third when period. someone's always on your ass, it's a different story. All right, third period. And Come on, guys. We got this. With play underway here in this third period, we take it down to ice level in our own Ray Ferraro with his thoughts. Philadelphia's been shaking their head for about an hour. 
as they keep watching this goalie kick one shot after another out of the way. What a tremendous goaltending performance, but you've got to find a way to break through that. And he regains control of the puck. Pokes it away in his own end. Couturier's got it across the line. They fight for it along the boards. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. And that's somehow stayed out of the net. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with a turnover. And now he tries to get it across to Ellis. Comes up with a glove save. Uh, and we get a open for a tip as there. The goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Bolts have taken a 1-0 lead. Philadelphia has won the faceoff. Across the point. Grabbed along the boards by Ellis. Vasilevsky's gonna slow mm. things down and opts for the win. He's bolt had shot a really by good Ellis. night. He's been on top of his game and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. Hayes is quick on the draw. Point shot! Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Vasilevsky! Oh, wow! Stops again! Denies him! Quick work. He makes one Come on, it's, it's, it's brewing up here. We're going to score. At the back end. Come on, I didn't want you to skate that far out, you fucking dumbass. Jesus Christ. The Bolts played along the wing. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hedman. Unfucking believable. Well, it's not like you're trying to get it that close, but if you can get the ball, you guys you suck. It, that's kind of nice, isn't it? <laughs> no, I know I'm the More player. The I suck here, but play. The Bolts now getting back in the two. swing of things here. Scory Perry. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Tosses it to Perry. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the boards. And he denied that opportunity. I don't know why it seems harder to pass the puck now as a goalie. Morgan Frost, the Flyers game wearing Daniel Breer's number. A chance in front! Great save from in tight. Take oh, that middle to away. To the puck. In close. Keep he the puck in play. Perry's gaining momentum. Across the line. Fires it into the offensive zone. Handles the pass. And he lowers the boom there. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And a great read to Last turn shot. that play aside. Quick feed to Hedman. And now he moves it quickly to Sorelli. On the attack, they come down the right wing. And now he passes up to McEwen. Along the Play half wall with the puck. I don't know if I like this man. He's huge as fuck, but... Boards. Sergachev's got the puck in his own zone. He's got a step. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Nice really good defense work by the play. To close the gap. All right. That's blocked. Take it along See, like, you flick it up, and it goes for a shot, but I just want to dump it in, and I don't want to use the pass button to dump it in. I guess I'll have to do that from now on. Gets it to the other point. Misses. And that's not the way the defense of it by Cole. Get him in the corner. Uh, Tampa Bay's in transition. Someone's slow to get up. Quick snap off the mask. Kept out. Oh, I thought way. that was a goal, dude. <laughs> From the back of the cage with the puck. Can't don't don't feel very pass. confident right now. Three consecutive goals. Unbelievable. Three nothing. Why am I still in here? Well, we shit the bed this game. I felt like Tampa we were decent. Offensively in the second period. I don't know. We have we're buzzing there for a second. The Flyers 
have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Oh, they win it perfectly. What a save. Ah, it's a good save there, James. It looks rather Come on, Couturier. The spot. Up to Couturier. Carries it around. No one out in front to bat it Kucherov's in. At least don't get a shutout. And that pass doesn't go. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Provorov stick handling in his own zone. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Into the offensive zone. Philadelphia's got the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Can't make it work. Down the left wing, they came to zone. Pushes it across to Atkinson. Shot! Oh, what a stop! Scooped up along the wall by Provorov. Oh, and another big stop! Goalie plays it up. Nice save. And mercifully, down to second. I don't know what to do. We're just. Quick feed Bad game. Can't Bad matchup. Oh, that was violent. Yeah, he hit him so hard, the people sitting right on Hey, Atkinson. Sit up straight. They're scared, too. Nice pass. Moves it to Maroon. Come on. Keep up the pressure on the four check. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Now a quick pass to Atkinson. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Tampa Bay's coaches are really making the determination who should be on the ice by the the puck. tonight. And that's the second line. They've been the best line in this game. And he slides it quickly to Kalorn. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Nice. Fucking Kalorn, dude. It fly. Oh, it goes right up the post. The Bulls oh, have a oh, comfortable oh. lead here. They're way up and in no danger Let's in this game. Let's get this puck out, you, you know, fucking dumbasses. That and that's it's all over. Razor almost an effort Unbelievable. Like out out there tonight. El Perfecto tonight. I mean, there was not much that seemed to stress him in between the pipes. All right, so we uh, shit the bed that game. Lost three nothing. Got shut out, I believe, for the first time this season. Uh, but it's okay. It's a learning experience. It's going to take a little bit more, um, a few more games for me to kind of get in the swing of it and get. Um, kind of used to the gameplay changes to nhl 23 uh first notice um that the hitting isn't as deadly as last year uh, it seems like it's a little bit harder to get to those big hits which i guess is pretty realistic there uh, it's more of a nudge but yeah that was our first uh shutout of the season being shut out so that kind of sucks um but hey at least it's not an auto win every time you play, because that's what I would feel is kind of cheese, right? If you jump in and you win every single game, but it's, um, what can you say? Well, I'll get better as it goes on. But that's going to do it for this episode here. We are fourth overall in the Metropolitan Division. Uh, looks like we might be a wild card team. Again, uh, only a quarter of the season has gone by. So there's still a lot more hockey left to be played. But uh, I like our team so far. Um, again, that's your standard general manager response. Oh, I like our team. I, I think our team is good. Meanwhile, they're one of the worst in the league. But um, I definitely think some changes can be made, especially from the cap perspective. Let's kind of quickly see who our last couple of... Uh, Point scorers are here before we end the video. Who are leading scorers? So Ryan Ellis, a uh, blue liner, a defenseman, is leading our team in points. He's minus eight, so minus all over the board. So that's not good. But hey, we're a uh, above 500 team, so we got that going for us. But Ryan Ellis leading the team with 21 points. Then you have Cam Atkinson with 18 points. Then you have Kevin Hayes with 18 points. James Van Rienzyk with 16 points, and Sean Couturier with 13 points. So not very good by Sean Couturier. But again, he's a two-way forward. He's not really there to get goals. Ideally, he's a second-line center. That's why it really sucks that the Flyers lost Giroux. Uh, it's a damn shame. 
I feel like if they're going to trade Giroux, you might as well blow up the whole team. But Sean Couturier, 13 points. And then goaltending, how are we doing so far? Carter Hart, 21 starts. He has a .893 save percentage, so Carter Hart not posting good numbers at all. Um, Sandstrom has a better save percentage, but his goals against average is higher. So again, you kind of want to apples to oranges there, right? Um, I personally have more weight in the goals against average category rather than the save percentage, but it is what it is. So not the best performance out of our goaltending. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I plan on posting these videos fairly frequently, so stay tuned for the next one. Feel free to add any input into the comments section. Thank you for watching.